hello everyone welcome in the second part of the splash screen video tutorial so guys in this video tutorial we will see the coding implementation of the splash screen so right here I'm going to use the NetBeans IDE and I have already set up a FXML based project here okay so you can see here on the left hand side under the projects tab we have this project splash screen project and in the base package we have these three defaults file the first one is f xml document dot f xml the second one is f xml document controllers dot java and the third one is the splash screen project dot java file okay so we got these three default file when we set up this project in the netbeans okay for the implementation we need two more files i have already described in the first video we have to create my preloader class that will extend the preloader class okay and this preloader class is abstract class i'm talking about this preloader class okay and this will be the normal class and we have to implement these two methods first one is the handle application notification to handle the notification raised by the main application class and this notification is coming from here inside this init method okay so this method will handle all these things and it will update the progress on the screen accordingly in the second method we have to decide at what time we have to close the preloader stage okay so this method is called when any state change happen in the main application class okay now I hope this is clear now come back here in the NetBeans IDE so we will see the implementation first I will show you this my preloader.java that I have created and how it is looking from inside so come here and watch it this is the constructor we have created we have one init method and we have this one start method okay and we have these two useful methods from this preloader class so we have to give the implementation inside these two methods okay so now and the second thing that I have added this is the splash screen fxml that I have created with the help of this scene builder 2.0 so right here this is the design of the splash screen so simply I have used the lines labels in the color okay so you guys you can create your own splash screen fxml and you can integrate with this project so right here one major thing that I have done I have used this label to display the progress okay that is being set from the init method of the main application that's why I have assigned this FX ID to this label okay minimize it now come back here in this that beans so first step by step I will add the code here okay in this my preloader dot Java file So first of all we have to add some code here in the init method okay we have to create the scene object here in this init method after that we will use that scene object to display the stage inside this start method so I am adding the code for the same so we have created these two reference first one for the stage and the second one for the scene now come here in the init method and add this code okay so why I'm using this code because this code is loading this splash screen this f xml file okay and then in the second line this is setting to the scene okay so we are ready with this okay 
at the time of launching we will set this scene to the stage inside this start method so now I'm going to add the code and from the start method we are getting the object injected object of the stage this is primary stage and we are holding this inside the reference preloader stage because we have defined it here okay because why we are doing this we have to close the stage once we have finished our task okay we have to disappear the preloaded screen and this is the simple usual lines preloaded stage dot set scene we are setting up the scene here in the stage after that we have uh, initialized the stage with the help of uh, undecorated style so we will not get the maximize minimize and the close button on the top of that stage at line number 47 we have displaying this stage okay so we have done the state start method code all okay so we have completed the method start now come here in these two methods okay so first method will handle the notification coming from the main application so we have to write some code here so what we have to write we have to write this simple thing we have to add this line so we are checking this progress notification okay so if info this object is an instance of progress notification then we will proceed so here we are using this line to display the progress sent by the main application okay and this progress will be displayed on the label that we have created on the fxml okay on this fxml so i am talking about this place this is the label so the progress will be displayed here okay and the second method is used for deciding at what time we have to close the preloader screen so we have to track the start method calling okay so just before starting the start method of the main application we have to close the preloader screen so we have to write state change detection code here in this method so we have to write this method you can see here this is simple thing this info we are getting info dot get type so we are taking this as a reference here and now we checking it that this is before start because we will get this notification before starting of the start method in the main application okay and once we move inside this case we are hiding the preloader screen you can see this is the instance of the stage object okay and we are holding the reference from here this is the primary stage that is injected by the uh, application and we are getting this object reference stored here and with the help of this preloader stage we are closing we are hiding the preloader screen and immediately we are after that we are breaking this okay we have this break statement so this method is responsible for handling the closing of the preloader screen before the starting of the main application okay and this method is updating the progress on the fxml so we have done with the my preloader.java now come back 
in the splash screen project dot java this is the main application also we have added some code here for launching the my preloader so this is the default code that we will get once we set up the project in the fxml now come here we have created this init method we have added it because we have in the main application in, a, in the main application we want some initialization stuff we are loading some database activity we are performing some heavy task so in the init method you will perform those tasks and one by one you will keep updating you will keep sending the notification to the my preloader and you will set the status of completion you will set the completion percentage to the my preloader and the my preloader method will keep updating the same progress on the gy on the fxml okay so here is the code that is doing the same thing we have used a for loop and we are using this count for producing the progress percentage and with the help of notify preloader method of this class we are sending this progress percentage to here okay in the first video I have described the same thing you can see we are sending the notification from here inside the for loop with the help of this notify preloader method and we are receiving the notification here in the handle application notification method okay and this line this line fxml document controller dot label dot set text okay this is updating the progress percentage on the screen as you can see this is the splash screen fxml this is connected with the controller okay here so at time of loading the fxml controller will instantiated and now come here in the fxml document controller I have created this private label okay and this is the fx ID that I have assigned to this label you can see okay this is the fx ID that I am using here in the controller because my fxml is connected with this controller fxml document controller dot java okay and then I have created the static reference of this label because at time of updating the process we need the same reference of the label so here in the initialize method I have initialized, initialized this label label is equal to progress you can see this progress instance is assigned to this one and I'm using the same label here in the my preloader to updating the progress you can see fx will document controller dot label dot set text and we are setting this text loading and this is the percentage value to the screen see this okay this is the place this is the label we are updating okay we are in the my preloader okay now come back in this splash screen project dot java we have this main method because we have to start our application so we have to call this method launch application method of launcher IMPL class okay we have to pass these three arguments first one is the current class name and we have to pass the my preloader class name okay and we have to pass this arguments string okay so launcher application method is responsible for launching these two classes okay and it will come into existence so we have what we have done so far just take a review so we have this simple 
Java FXML based project. Also, we have added one FXML that is used as a splash screen. This is a preloader screen. Okay, and we have created one one more class, my preloader that is extending preloader class because we have to handle the notification. So we have used two methods. We have provided the implementation. Okay and come here in the main application class splash screen project class so what we have done we have created one initialize method okay we have used a loop for uh, sending the notification percentage to the my preloader class okay and inside the main application we have to write this code to launch the application okay we have to pass the name of these two classes as an argument okay now come here in the preloader class we will take a review so here what we have done we have created this stage of reference here we have created one scene reference then inside the initialize method this is init method and we have loaded this splash screen with the help of this statement okay and we have collected this object root one and we have created the scene object here then in the start method we have loaded this stage so this is the simple code most of the application we have done so the similar code we have done we have initialized this state with, with the help of this scene object also we have set the style of the stage undecorated okay now these are the two most important thing the first method is handle application notification that is responsible for handling the notification coming from the this class splash screen project dot java okay this method is called every time okay because we are calling notify preloader method inside the loop so this will be called every time and we will keep updating the progress on the UI. So this line is updating the progress percentage on the screen. And this is the second method handle state change notification. We have used this method for deciding at what time we have to close the preloader screen. So right now this preloader stage will hide before calling the start method of the main application. I am talking about this okay before calling of this start method a notification is initiated and send here in this method so we are detecting that notification and the same time we are hiding this stage okay so that is the core of this concept now save all those files and take a clean build and we will run this same project here and we will test the output okay guys build is successful now come in the main application which has a start method do a right click choose this option run file and launch the application now you can see this is the splash screen this is the fxml that we have added here now you can see here also the loading percentages keep going 54 55 56 63 and once it is completed 100 percent the main application stage will be launched now see here the preloader screen is disappear now and the main application stage is launched So guys, this was the splash screen implementation in the Java FX. I hope you have a clear understanding on this concept. If you still have any doubts, so please comment below. I will try to reply as soon as possible. So guys, keep watching. Please do like and subscribe and share.